I think it's time for a mocha, don't you? All right, let's go make a mocha together. We'll start with crafting chocolate because that's the key to it all. We we'll use a crafting chocolate, we're gonna use water, we're gonna use some ingredients, coffee, good coffee, and we're gonna make something really fantastic. All right, here goes. Now, we start off with water or milk or a blend. I recommend that you use a little bit of milk and more water, even though that may seem kind of counterintuitive. So I'm gonna, the recipe says 150 grams, right, of milk. So I'm gonna temper that back and take me to about, oh, about 100 grams of the water. And then I'm just using some 2% milk to get me to about 150. I overshot a little, but that's okay. Now, we need to get some chocolate in there as well. And I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm this up first because it's a little bit cool. So I'll, I'll just hit it in the microwave for just a little bit just to kind of get it on its way. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is weigh out our chocolate, which is 75 grams. So I'm gonna put that into this cup. I'm just gonna weigh out 75 grams of chocolate. All right, 75 grams. So now I've got this milk and water, which is semi-warm, super hot. Certainly not warm enough to really melt the chocolate. I'm gonna pour that on top. Now, if you don't have a steamer, you want this to be quite hot. You want this to be around 190 degrees or almost boiling. So maybe take it to the, to the pot, you know, to the stove, get it up to temperature, throw the chocolate in, mix it up real well together and get that going first. But I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna do it this way instead. So here comes the, the milk over the top. And you can see, if you look inside there, that there's really nothing happening. The chocolate's just floating around in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna steam the, the, uh, the little bit of milk mostly water and the chocolate mixture. The first thing I'm gonna do is clear, which you're always supposed to do. By the way, can we just take a moment and talk about this cup? This cup was like one of those gifts from the kids, you know, where you open up and you're like, oh, thank you. And you're like, Ugh. you know, <laughs> but I love this cup. This cup is perfect for steaming. It's got this perfect shape. So I'm just saying, sometimes when you get a gift, it's not immediately obvious what it's awesome for until later, so. This is one of those gifts. All right, so here it goes. I'm gonna put that in here, and I'm gonna get it going. See, I got a nice uh, vortex going. Uh, my chocolate is melted. I'm basically making a hot chocolate here, really. Now I'm gonna set that aside. And because this, this ranchilio that I have here is um, a single boiler, I was saying, you have to wait for it to come down to temperature because the proper brewing temperature is about 222. All right, let's talk through the coffee side of this. You can make brewed coffee, which is totally fine, or you can use uh, an espresso machine like I've got here to make an espresso shot. Just remember that if you use espresso, that's a concentrated coffee taste, and that's what the recipe card shows. If you've made brewed coffee, you're using extra water in that brewed coffee, right? So you need to back off on the 150 grams of that milk water mixture that we had because it's being replaced with coffee. So just something to bear in mind. So I'm gonna show you how uh, we're gonna pour a shot through this espresso machine. So first, you know the amount of coffee that you use um, and the strength of your shot is obviously a very personal taste. Um, you know, 25 grams is the, is the cafe standard, but I just poured some in there as you can see. And I'm spinning it now and then I'm gonna put some pressure down and what I need to do here is give it 20 pounds of pressure, and then I have to clean the edges off. Now, notice that this filter, this is called a portafilter that I have in my hand. This is a naked portafilter. You can see how it doesn't have a downspout. This one here has a downspout, so the coffee runs through the spout. This one here just runs through the middle. 
that's kind of cool as you'll see because it allows more of the crema to come through unobstructed. I like that. All right, so we're about to pour the shot. A couple things I want to tell you. So when you first hear this turn on, when I press the button, you'll hear that it, for, it runs for a few seconds. That's depositing water into the basket. And then it'll pause for a couple of seconds to allow the, the grinds to swell a little bit. And then when you then it'll start again and flow the water through. Now, um, if you've got a good shot, you know that about five seconds or so in the beginning, three, four, five seconds beginning, there should be no nothing coming out. Then, uh, then you should start to see it flow. So here goes. So there's the water. Now the the grinds are swelling. Came out a little bit soon. Now we're getting some crema now. Okay, so now what we do is we, we pour our shot in first, and then we pour in the rest to make the mocha. Giving yourself a nice froth on top. And there you go. That's a mocha. For most people, that's a mocha. For some people, you're not quite done unless you add a little something to it. So maybe, you know, a little bit of uh, maybe a, a cinnamon whiskey of some kind, like a fireball, or maybe some brandy, or maybe some Kahlua. Rum chata. Rum chata would be good, yeah. Peppermint, peppermint people like peppermint and coffee. Absolutely, so, you know, whatever you think is gonna work for you. And there you go, that's a mocha.